YouTuber apology videos are always highly entertaining, but I've got something especially wacky for you today. It's not an apology, this is a YouTube response video from the head of a crypto company that recently found itself in some hot water after the iShow Speed stream from earlier this week. For those that don't know, iShow Speed is a huge YouTuber who did an entire stream earlier this week dedicated to shilling for a very shady crypto company called Paradox Metaverse. Since then, Speed has apologized, called it a big mistake, and wants to move on and learn from the experience. And I'm not here to tell you how, how to feel about all of that. That's up to you. I'm not Speed's PR manager or anything, and I'm not really here to talk about Speed. I'm here to talk about that company because the head of it made a response to all of this, and he just pooped out the shittiest shit I've ever seen in my life. It is Terrible. This grown-ass man sat down to whine and cry about all of the people calling it a scam just being trolls and bots. He blamed the entire thing on like a cyber terrorist attack from bots trying to bring down his company. Or if they weren't bots, they were trolls that were influenced by the bots calling it L scam. And then he provides no evidence to prove that it's not a scam, and instead just says, if we were a scam, why are we still here? We wouldn't be here if it was still a scam. If this was a rug pull, why hasn't it been rugged yet? He then issues a galaxy brain challenge to everyone to find a part in that stream where he said it was a scam, where he admitted it was a scam. And since you can't find a spot where he said it's all a scam, then it can't be a scam, obviously. Checkmate. I'm not even kidding. This this is actually points that he's making in his fucking response video. It is so embarrassing. Where's their response video, though? I don't see that anywhere on here. That'd also be a really bad idea for them to post that publicly. 43 minutes into the video, we had an average 40,000 viewers. That's his speed. Wise, we had around five to 10,000 comments. We had two huge spikes. The first one being when we introduced fake Ronaldo into the stream. Three minutes. What does that have to do with anything? He's going to make the claim that these two spikes... Oh, fuck, where'd they go? He's going to make the claim that these two spikes were when bots came in to say L scam. But what he fails to realize is the reason there's these spikes is because more people decided to type L scam when they realized how shady shitty and dog shit this whole thing was. It's not bots. These, these clowns have been very vocal about it being bots that were saying scam. Nobody else, everyone else loved it. Like the actual people with a the pulse, they loved it. Everyone saying that it was a scam is a bot. They can't wrap their head around, no, people just realized it was a fucking scam. We had two huge so that's spikes. why he's showing that, because he's going to make that we claim. We are just as much of a fan of Aisha Speed. No comments suggesting that we are a scam. It was just W's in the chat all the way around. What happened next? That's just because of Speed, again. The reason there are W's in the chat is because it was a speed stream. And everyone spams W's in the chat for speed. But the more that you went on about Paradox Metaverse, the more obvious it became that this is all just shilling for a dog shit crypto scam. So then people started saying, L scam. You started making calls to action for Paradox Metaverse to go follow the Twitter account. The playing the game. So it made people more aware of it and then starting to type more for it. This caught us all by surprise. This is when the first cyber attack happens. It's this not a fucking cyber attack. Minutes. Holy shit, this guy's talking like Jack Bauer at CTU. After the four minute attack, all the comments went down, as you can see here. Guys, this is very unusual. It's no. clear to see that he was botted. You know what else would cause a spike like this? Let's say Speed went on stream, everything's normal like this, and then he, he fucking beat a man to death in cold blood. There would be this huge spike then too. And it wouldn't be bots, it would people say, Holy shit! What the fuck? L speed? Murder? Like, it'd, it'd have a spike then too. The reason the spike happened is because you had more egregious calls to action like following the Twitter, so people started putting out that it is a fucking scam and this is shady. It's clear to see that he was botted. No! <laughs> Christ! That anybody that was watching that live stream, they started falling for it. They started thinking, okay, somebody knows something we don't. So started pushing out the narrative that this, this is, is so embarrassing even as like a paradox buyer like the community for paradox meta you have to see this and you have to be having your red flags go off like this has to trigger your own red flags to see that your ceo is so weak and so insecure that he's writing these things off as bots in pure delusion and cope calling it an attack like in the crypto space 
you have to be smarter than that. Like, you would know the bare minimum about how shit works. What he should have done is just say, the, the speed audience wasn't ready for it, they didn't see the vision, so they all thought it was a scam. And you know what? We missed the mark. Now they all think we're a scam. But we're not. But he's not doing that. Instead, he's placating. He's putting this on some invisible enemy that doesn't exist. It's not bots. Now he just looks really weak to even his own community. He looks so insecure. Actually decided, you know what? This is actually funny. Let's troll the person we look up to the most that we tune into every single day. Uh, the guilt trip. Entertains us for free. A classic. Ask for anything in return. Guys, please listen very carefully. It's very important. Our crypto exchange is worth 40 billion dollars and has sent us a picture saying why if I should see comments saying scam coin. 40 billion dollars. We spent 10 million dollars on this project and every single person in the comments is saying scam coin because we are getting bought here. Please do something, we're going to lose it. Guys, what you have just heard is the aftermath of being completely botted. Scam, scam, Ugh. scam. The 10 million dollars of my hard-earned money that I've worked so hard for. What, like, what is that even supposed to prove? You still believing it's bots. Refusing to accept the reality of things that people see through this garbage. Like, th this doesn't prove anything on in your innocence. It doesn't. All this proves, and if you played it longer, is that you asked Speed to shut it down, he, you asked if he could disable the chat. So you're taking away the people's voice. Which makes you look bad and goes against your fucking uh, stances on things. Like, if you played it further. Like, it doesn't prove anything anyway, even if you take out that part. It is not evidence. It's nothing. It's literally nothing. Into this project, into this business. And the fact that I'm going to lose it all because everybody is labeling it a scam. Yeah, well, at least you still have your stupid fucking university. Like, you have plenty of other scams that you can hustle on too, man. Like, you don't need your sob story. Ten million to you is nothing. You made a whole video with money kicks showing off your rented car collection. Like, you have plenty of money. Like, you are you got a ton of other ventures that I'm sure you can pull from. At no point did anyone say we are going to scam anyone. Anyone with half a brain cell can see this with their own eyes. Yeah, anyone with half a brain cell can see that just by looking at our product real quick and seeing all seven of our companies that promise things like $500 a day and 10 to 100x returns. Oh, and also the same guy who can't follow through on his bet, where you bet that the Paradox meta will open to at least like 20 or 30, and if it doesn't, you're changing your name to CoffeeZilla. It opened to 9 cents, and you didn't change your name to CoffeeZilla. But here, let's take a peek at the game that you were so proud of. Man, that really does look like something that is the future and has a lot of work put into it. Using so many assets, so many fucking standard packages in the, the, what is this, the Unreal Store? I can't remember. Yeah, wow, this really does look like a lot going on here. Something that could absolutely be thrown together in a matter of minutes. And a game that I'm sure we've probably played before on Steam Indie New Release Night when we go through shitty games. They're called Asset Flips. There's nothing here that screams, whole team, passion project, we're in it for the long haul with this project. And what was the label? I Show Speed promotes those scam. Yep. Guys. He did. Listen to the audio yourself. Go over it again and again. Mention to us once when we said we are going to scam people. That's such a non-point. <laughs> we never said it on that stream, so it can't be true. Prove that we said it's going to be a scam. Do it, pussy. Where did I say it's a scam? Anywhere during that stream. Is the person you want to label a scam, or is it that you <clears throat> just want to associate Aisha Speed with a scam? This is cancel culture at its finest. Oh, yes. hitting all the buzzwords, all, all the boo-hoos, the cancel culture. Don't launch a shitty, shady crypto. It's that simple. Your crypto, your Paradox Meta has like seven components, all of which make no fucking sense and are literally just actual dog shit. He was not getting done. Everything that was getting done in front of your eyes, no one had an issue with up until we got spammed. No. That's actually not true. The smashing, like, you're already wrong. The smashing of the PlayStation 5's gotten a huge influx of L speeds. Chat immediately turned against them with the smashing of the PlayStation 5's. So, I mean, you're just not even right there either. It wasn't just L scam, it was L speed for smashing PlayStation 5's. 
There was no evidence. There was no substance. If we was a scam, why would we still be here? We God, these are such non-points. If we were a scam, we'd be in jail right now. We wouldn't even be allowed here right now if we were a scam. How is this fair? Here's a video. We're going to play the video. This video Ooh, is in is it mine? crying every single day, in, sh in tears every single day. But he still manages to continue with his live stream. Just to please his fans. And you guys took it upon yourselves to what? think it's funny to just troll people. You guys don't understand the, the stuff that comes after this trolling. On camera, everyone has to smile. Nobody can show other people their fears. Off camera, could you imagine what he's going through? Because we do. We know exactly what's going on. You're not his fucking friend. He already threw you to the wolves. Why are you still sucking his dick? Speed, like, uh, like straight up said, yeah, this was a mistake. Like, he at the very least has moved on and said, yep, that was bad. Yeah, that was bad. And yet here you are like, oh, we are there. We are holding him in our laps as he is crying profusely, uncontrollably because of what you guys have done to him. He is not ready for what the world is accusing him of. And he doesn't know how to respond. So I'm taking it upon myself to respond on his behalf. <laughs> oh, this is so sad now. You staked the rug pull on a 17-year-old's audience. It didn't pan out. He has now wiped his ass with your whole company. And you are still here begging for that audience to accept you. By pretending like things are like close between you two. Yikes, that's embarrassing. Jesus Christ, man, have some shame. Please stop this, hate. It takes very little to just be nice. Uh, rather than... Calling out a scam isn't just needless cancel culture hate. That's just not what it is. This is so sad. This is so fucking sad. This is a grown man. This is a very, very wealthy grown man. You can see us as founders. We do not even have access to our own tokens. I can, I literally don't think there's enough numbers that exist to show how many claims have been made exactly like that, only for them to get rugged. Everyone that bought in. That is the number one claim that every crypto makes. No, founders are fully out there, very transparent. They don't, they don't even hold any. And they couldn't even get in there if they wanted to. In fact, we have protocols in place to prevent that from happening. And then bang, rug pull. Every single time, like clockwork, literally every single time. Still my favorite to this day, there was a Twitter account called War on Rugs, which was a Twitter account dedicated to showcasing and warning people of rug pulls in the crypto space. And then eventually they rugged their own community. So they had their own coin as well. And eventually War on Rugs was like, yep, we're taking. So they made off with millions and they made a post saying, you guys should stop blindly trusting people like this. And still, still, people buy into shit like that. It's crazy. That is a nothing claim. Everything he has said so far is actually nothing. He's provided no evidence to prove that it's not a scam. He has provided nothing other than trying to guilt people and saying that it's all just bad faith trolling. We'll make sure we'll see you guys on the moon. Nice, that's so huge. <laughs> that was awful, holy fuck. That was a big one. What a masterclass in how to say absolutely nothing. Nah, part two might clear up everything. Even burning their founders' tokens they can't even cash out for a whole year. That shows passion and confidence in the project being 10,000, 100,000% legit. Oh, fuck me. I hope that's a bot. I hope that's not a real person. Yikes. Oh, fucking yikes. The comments aren't really on his side either. I really do wonder what the Paradox community thinks of a move like this, but it, I, I'm not going into their Discord to find out. Usually it's just a lot of people convincing themselves of absolute nonsense in order to believe that they can make money off of it, and then when it doesn't happen they just pretend like oh, they just got fooled by someone who was just too smart, even though the writing was on the wall right in front of their face the entire time. It, everything he said is things thousands of scams in the space have said before him. He just copied their playbook.